This is an inspiring story of Geshe Wang Yel. A Tibetan Lama of Russian origin who worked for the CIA, arranged the Dalai Lama's first visit to the U.S. in 1979 and was a pioneer of Tibetan Buddhism in America. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's start. Geshe Wang Yal was born on October 15, 1901, in southeastern Russia into a Kalmyk family. The Republic of Kalmykia is the home of the Kalmyks, people of Mongol origin who primarily follow the Buddhist faith. Among four siblings, Geshe Wang Yal was the youngest. His brother, Gung Sang, who was eight years older, was a monk. At the age of six, Geshe Wang Yal entered a local monastery where his elder brother Gung Sang resided and it was Gun San who took charge of his education. When Geshe Wang Yal turned 16, he enrolled in medical school. However, his interest declined after his teacher passed away at the end of the year. Furthermore, Geshe Wang Yal's life took a devastating turn when he fell seriously ill and lost his mother to the same disease. Throughout his life, Geshe Wang Yal always spoke lovingly of his mother and said that he had never encountered such unconditional compassion in his life. During this period, Geshe Wang Yal met his main teacher, Lama Agvan Darjiev, who played a crucial role in bridging Russia and Tibet. Lama Agvan Darjiev was not only a Buddhist monk, but a close associate and study partner of the 13th Dalai Lama. He served as a minister in the Dalai Lama's government and acted as a diplomatic intermediary between Tibet and the Russian Empire and founded the first Buddhist temple in St. Petersburg, Russia. During his visits to Kalmykia and Buryatia, he encountered a gifted student named Navan Wangyal. Recognizing Navan Wangyal's potential, Lama Gwander Zhiv provided assistance for him to travel to Tibet and study at Drepun Goman Monastery, where Navan Wangyal eventually obtained his Geshe degree. Geshe is a Tibetan Buddhist highest academic degree for monks and nuns. The degree is emphasized primarily by the Geluk lineage, but is also awarded in the Sakya and Bon traditions. After obtaining his Geshe degree, Geshe Wang Yal divided his time between China in the winter and Lhasa for the rest of the year. This idyllic existence, however, was about to be cut short. Escape to India. By the end of 1951, the Chinese Communist forces had expanded their presence from the eastern provinces to central Tibet. Geshe Wang Yal could not remain in Lhasa because he was known to be a Russian national. His status as a Lama also put him at risk during a time when communist forces sought to purify society of its bourgeois elements. Geshe Wang Yal escaped to India, where he came across a New York Times article about a group of Kalmyk who had established a community in Freewood Acres, New Jersey, USA. The article inspired him to move to the United States. Geshe Wang Yal arrived to America on February 3, 1955. Upon his arrival, Geshe Wang Yal attempted to join both Russia Gimplin Ling and the newer Tibetan Buddhist center, Tasha Lumpo. Geshe Wang Yal taught the Tibetan language at Columbia University. Around the same time that he started teaching at Columbia University, the elder brother of His Holiness Dalai Lama, Tupten Jigbin Norbu, Takshan Rinpoche, helped Geshe Wang Yal to secure a position on the CIA's Tibet Task Force. Geshe Wang Yal was assigned to develop the telecode used to communicate with the Tibetan resistance movement. Geshe Wang Yal's involvement with the CIA gave them the opportunity to play a significant role during the Dalai Lama's escape from India to Tibet. The guerrilla fighters assigned to ensure the Dalai Lama's safety during the escape journey used the telecode developed by Geshe Wang Yal to keep the CIA informed of their movements and to request Prime Minister Nehru to grant political asylum in India for the Dalai Lama, his family and entourage. After the Dalai Lama arrived in India with the CIA, enabled him to secure it properly and build a ranch-style home in Freewood Acres in 1958, the property would go on to become the Lamaist Buddhist Monastery of America (LBMA), the first center of Tibetan Buddhist academic studies in the United States. The year of 1960 held several milestones for Geshe Wang Yal. He resigned from the CIA task force, which continued without him for over 10 years. He was also granted America's citizenship and an American passport. That summer, Geshe Wang Yal traveled to India for an audience with the Dalai Lama, who decided to send four Tibetan Buddhist lamas to Geshe Wang Yal's Freewood Acres Center to learn Buddhism, to learn English, 
and later teach Buddhism to receptive audiences. Not long after the arrival of the first batch of lamas from India, LBMA received its first group of Harvard students, including Jeffrey Hopkins, Christopher George, and others. Geshe Wang Yal taught them Buddhism and, in return, his students from Harvard providing English language lessons to the newly arrived monks help out at the center. Jeffrey Hopkins would go on to receive his doctorate degree and teach Buddhism at the University of Virginia. He also wrote many books on Tibetan Buddhism. In the 1960s, more Americans come to study with Geshe Wang Yal and the Tibetan monks. To accommodate the situation and his wish to retire, Geshe Wang Yal bought land in Washington, New Jersey, and left his Hal Monastery in the care of the resident Tibetan monks, inviting the Dalai Lama to the United States. In 1964, Geshe Wang Yal took one of his American students, Robert Thurman, to India and introduced him to the Dalai Lama in Dharamsala. Thurman, the father of Uma Thurman, was ordained by the Dalai Lama in 1965, the first American Buddhist monk of the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Robert Thurman was also a student of Geshe Wang Yal, whose main assignment at that time was to bring the Dalai Lama to America. The most important dream of Geshe Wang Yal came true, with many people involved problem solved. The first Dalai Lama's visit to America in 1979 became possible, and it was the most successful and significant pilgrimage undertaken in the West. As the Dalai Lama traveled around the country, he focused on three themes, seeing the U.S. and meeting with Americans, demystifying Buddhism and raising awareness of the political situation in Tibet. The Dalai Lama's first lecture took place at the LBMA in New Jersey. The Dalai Lama would visit LBMA a total of eight times. On January 30, 1983, Yeshe Wang Yal passed away peacefully. In the summer of 1991, during the Dalai Lama's visit to Kalmykia, a person asked him, Your Holiness, why are you here? The Dalai Lama replied, I am here because of my friend Yeshe Wang Yal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.